Hello YouTube, this is Andrew24Well here with a mod tutorial for Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Basically, this is a tutorial on how to install add-ons to your game. Um, I believe this works with Arma 3 too, I'm not too sure. So basically, the tutorial I'm going to be covering is add-ons, it's probably the most common one. And we're going to go... One second. Okay. So basically add-ons actually add something to the game like a vehicle or something like that. So we're gonna pick vehicles for today and because they're usually the easiest ones to pick and we're gonna pick a chopper and we're gonna find something to let's see. Um you can pick any. Um I'm just gonna pick one that I actually want. Uh I guess I can hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's just pick the first one that one looked interesting so okay so you're gonna download this now almost usually on the bottom you also need winrar or 7-zip I'll link those in the description too and I'll be right back when this is done okay I'm back guys um am I okay yeah I am okay so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see so we only have one file which is awesome and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it to the side and I will want you guys to go to computer if you have Windows, obviously you do, and go to local disk C. Um, hold on, local disk C because that's your number one, and go program files x86 if you're Windows, x64 or and if it not, go to the other program files, the normal one. And what you want to do is find Steam. It should be under the S like normally, and you're gonna go to Steam apps. Uh, and then yeah sorry about that and then go common and then here are your game files and you're gonna go to arma 2 operation arrowhead or arma 2 depending on which game you're using and what you're gonna do now is you're going to right click and create a new folder and you're gonna name this folder at usually t r one second t r h w underscore that yes that will be a suitable title for this um usually just pick out the ones that stand out and not like the letters behind it like look at this one I have a f16 in my game so I just titled it at f16 either way it should be fine okay and then you're gonna create a new folder called add-ons and after that you're gonna click that and add this very simple um, basically how this works is if you enable it in game which you really have to a lot of people create a shortcut and I don't know why through Steam and stuff and I don't know why when you can just enable it and it works perfectly fine but people just have a different way of it so we're gonna go in game really quickly and I'll be right back when we're in game bye Okay guys, before I say anything else, I want you guys to note that before you do it, when you get in game for the first time, you're going to actually have to launch it two times. That's what costs when you enable it inside the game. You have to look for the thing you put at. So, it was this. And then you click enable. And basically just click OK. And then you're going to need to restart your game. because Welcome back guys. I'm, I'm sorry, but it just like cut me out because the game just stopped and restarted. And so we're going to load up our game like normally. It should do it automatically. You shouldn't have to click play game and all that stuff. So let's load it up and let's see. So now we have this. All These are all my mods I have installed currently. And I have the TRH Gaz. That's the one we just installed. And I'm just going to pick text stand for no apparent reason. I don't know why I was going to pick chair in this. That is actually an Arma 2 map, so this should take actually a little while for some reason because loading does get a little slower after you install a couple of mods because it has to load up all the stuff in the editor. This is not even the real game. We're just loading up the editor, and it takes a while for some reason. And there. So now we're going to put her down and... It may take a little while to actually find where your helicopter is. Fortunately, it was right here. <laughs> and we're just saying click OK. And we're going to preview it. And I think this should be the helicopter. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> 
I am right. This is the helicopter we installed, obviously, because it's actually a different type of helicopter. Sorry, the engine's really loud. So let's get out, and let me just prove it to you. Does this look like an Arma 2? Oh, a helicopter? No, it does not. This is actually a different modded helicopter. Because I installed it just right now, and you are watching this tutorial. So, yeah, this is our helicopter we just installed right now, and I'm pretty sure this is not the normal helicopter you always see in Arma 2. So thanks for watching. That was a little tutorial on my channel for people wondering. Goodbye.